Hi guys, this is Mike, and in this video we're going to be rounding out our series on research methods with video 5, and in this video we're going to be talking about a couple of different things. One, we're going to be talking about instant citations using logos, and then we're going to round that out with the last thing, which is called favorites. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing we're going to look at is something called instant citations. And this allows you to copy and paste pretty much anything out of any resource in Logos. And Logos will then offer an instant citation in a footnote down at the bottom of your text editor. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hide my home screen just to pull back up in my layout that we've been working out of for the past few videos. Notice that we've got our search still from video one. We've got our notes from our uh, video two. We've got our clippings document from video three and then our bibliography document from video four. So we're in part five right now of this series. So we're gonna talk right now about instant citations. So let's say I wanted to now use this note file that I've created on uh, the extent of the atonement from GT Shedd's uh, Dogmatic Theologies. I wanna copy this into a paper that I'm writing. Well, it's really easy. I mean, you can highlight the text uh, press a Command-C or Control-C to copy, go to your Word document and paste it in. And notice when you paste it in that you have a footnote icon automatically added to your Word document if you paste it into Word. And if you mouse over that, you've got your footnote citation in a pop-up. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you're going to find your footnote down there in the proper uh, citation style that you've set for your preferred citations within Logos. Mine happens to be Turabian right now, so it's got it in Turabian bibliographical form right now. So let's go back to Logos, and you may say, well, how do I make sure? I, I copied and pasted, but I didn't get a citation automatically added. If that's you, go back to Logos, open up your program settings, and in your program settings, the fourth option that you're going to find here is called Copy Citations. You're going to want to make sure that you have that set to Yes, because that's going to determine whether it does the instant citations or not. And if you want to set your citation style, we've already talked about this, but in case you missed it, right above that is Citation Style, and here you can set your preferred citation style. I have mine set to Turabian. So once you do that, you can go to any resource. So let's say I'm in my Extent of the Atonement notes, and I remember I took this note uh, from Millard Erickson's Christian Theology, and I found it really compelling. Well, I can go to the hyperlink and click that, and that takes me to the exact place in the resource where I took that note. Now I can take this, highlight the section that I want to use in my paper, copy it, go over to Microsoft Word, and then paste it right on in. And notice that I instantly have a footnoted with number two now. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, and I've got my other footnote in proper Turabian footnote citation style. So this is going to cut hours and hours of uh, writing out bibliographical content and information in your paper if you need to have footnoted citations available. Now that we know how to find resources for our research, we know how to document that research, and we know how to export it into a paper, how can we begin to organize more effectively all the research that we're doing? Now, there are a couple of ways that we can actually go through and organize our content. Uh, one of those is provided just by default by Logos uh, within our Documents Manager. So if you go up to the Documents menu, you'll notice over here on the right-hand side, you can actually see all of the documents that are available within your Logos library. So these are all of the documents that you have created. Notice I have quite a few because I have a pretty, I've been using Logos for quite some time. Now you can find any of these documents, whether they be notes or bibliographies or syntax searches or passage lists, uh, by simply typing in keywords into the top here. So if I want to find my atonement notes, I can just simply type atonement because I know I put that in the title of my notes and my bibliography, my clippings, and it's going to find all of my documents that have atonement in the title. So that's pretty and easy and straightforward. One of the ways that I like to actually organize my documents menu here is by type. So if we click this type column header, this actually will condense all of the different document types into subfolders. This is very similar to the library if you've ever organized your library before. So now if I need to go find my notes, I can simply expand the notes folder and there is my are all of my notes. 
Now one of the other things that you can do is you can organize by a secondary column. If you hold down the shift key and then click another column, I'll do date, this will now organize within the folder the notes by date. Once again, I think that this find bar up top is going to be really helpful for you to discover where your notes are, but you can also use these folders if you don't have quite as many. But you can, you can understand that once you get quite a few notes going, it's going to be hard to keep track of all these. So that's one way to find and store documents. But the only problem is you can't store all of your resources that you've opened, nor can you store searches within that documents menu. So is there a way that we can actually store all of this content uh, in one place and organize it in a way that we like? There just so happens to be that, and it's called Favorites. So if you want to open the Favorites tool, we go over to the Tools menu, and in the left-hand side here, the third option down with the star, it's called Favorites. Go ahead and click that, and that'll open a panel on the left-hand side of your layout. Now notice I have some folders already uh, in here from previous uh, work that I've been doing, uh, but uh, you can actually add folders to this and then create subfolders of content. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click new folder and this will create a new folder and I'm going to name this atonement so within that atonement folder I can create subfolders so I'll go ahead and right click on that folder and then create a new folder and this new folder I'm going to name this one searches and then notice it's not a subfolder quite yet you can click and drag this into the folder of atonement and that creates a subfolder now I can create other, other folders within this by right clicking on searches, create new folder. And notice when you right click on a subfolder, it creates a new folder of that same level. So that's the way it's automatically going to create a subfolder. So we can add a new one called notes. Uh, we can add other ones. How about another one called resources? So on and so forth. So you can think of all the different ways that you can do this. So in order to add things to these subfolders, here's how you do it. So let's say I want to add stuff to my searches uh, folder. I'll simply go over to my search tab here, extend and scope within four words of atonement that we did originally. We can drag and drop this into the searches folder and notice we now have our search stored within that searches folder. If we want to store our notes, simply click and drag and drop them into the notes file. And we can also store our bibliography. Let's say we don't want to put this in a subfolder. We just want it to be in the atonement folder in general. We'll just click and drag that into the atonement folder. Now it creates extent of the atonement bibliography here. So if you want to start storing resources in your resources folder, you can do the same thing. And remember, we can actually drag all five of these open resources that we have here by simply holding down the shift key, clicking one of the panel tabs, and we can drag all five resources over and drop them in all at the same time. So now we've actually stored all of our content. Well, except for maybe our clippings. We can just drag that over here, drop it in our Atonement folder, and now we have a clippings document. So we've got everything stored in our favorites section under the Atonement subheader. Now you can think about how you can organize this. Notice I have a topics folder here. If I expand that, I've got every letter of the alphabet, so I can expand the H section. And notice I've got studies that I did on historical Adam, and I've got study on head coverings. So I can open those up and look, I've got journal articles, Bible dictionary articles, commentaries, so on and so forth. So you can go through and set your own type of organizational standard for storing your research within Logos Bible software. So using favorites is a huge piece to doing research in Logos. So now we can actually close all if we want to. We can notice I've got my favorites tool in my shortcuts bar. I can click show favorites, come over to atonement, and I can open up things as I want. So if I want to see my search, reopen that and then it has exactly the same search that I stored in here and I can open it again if I want to. Uh, I can also open my notes so get right back into my notes and then I can find any resource that I want to. If I want to open Millard Erickson, if I want to open uh, Louise Burkhoff, and if I want to open my bibliography again I've got that all ready to rock and roll right here out of my favorites tool. So I hope that this was helpful and this actually brings us to a close for our series on research methods. I hope that uh, you know how to use Logos in this platform a little bit better to do your theological or even biblical or counseling or philosophy research. So if you like this video and you like this series, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other videos from my channel as they're released, make sure that you hit the subscribe button here in order to be instantly notified as soon as a video is posted. 
So as always, enjoy mining the depths of the scriptures using logos. Until next time.